Hello, today I will show you how you can get all those things here into a nomadic compression bag. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Oliver, I'm running four KFC restaurants in Switzerland and I'm a firefighter. Let's get it started. First you open the main zipper of the bag, it's a full parameter zipper so you can open it and then you open the compression zipper inside here to get some space inside. Make sure when you roll the pants that the size is equal or roughly equal to the compression bag. So in this case, that's pretty simple. We need to fold away a part of it. So if you see that here, this is our excess material, which we're gonna fold away now. And I usually start with the thicker side and I roll from here. That's going to be your base layer. We do the same thing with the other trouser. So flat, put it flat, take the excess part, get it inside, and then you start rolling again. So that's going to be your base layer. You can put the pants on next. It should look like this. And then we take one of the shirt. And then we take the shirt. We roll that easily. Put that in the other corner. Now we put the socks inside. We have a little space. That's three pants. And the rest comes in between. So that it looks like this. The rest can go on top. Does not need to be perfect, but try to make them a little wider like I have as I have it here right now. And you can alternate them so you have a better distribution of the height. Next step, close the zipper. That is already pretty impressive compared to what we had before. Now we want to reduce the size here between the, the zippers to be able to close it and to get the compression going. When I started this, I would never do it sitting because you need to apply some pressure later, like back in the days with the suitcases. But for the beginning, it's completely fine. So you put the zipper together, close apart, Press it together to close apart. And now, when you come around the first corner, usually it gets a little more tricky. Get the stuff away from the zipper, put it to the inside, then press the zippers together. And the same goes here now. You see that you need to go inside, and then you can get a little compression here. Go inside, get the compression. Go inside, get the compression. And now we're coming around the third corner. Now it gets a little more bulky here, so. And I usually would say, now it's the time to get up. So you want to get on top, but more importantly, get it inside. Away from the zipper, put it together, close it. Away from the zipper, put it together, close it. And away from the zipper, press it together, close it. And now it gets to the last and more almost tricky part, because here you already repeat your connection. Getting inside, closing the zipper, getting it inside, 
and closing the zipper again. So we are on the last stretch. Since you only do this one or two times a year before you travel, or if you travel more often, for sure you do it more often, that's going to be the result. You have a nomadic compression bag, built like this. I usually have that in my, uh, in my cupboard, so whenever I need to go somewhere with a short trip, where well, this amount will be totally enough for me, I would just take this one, grab it, and I'm good to go. Um, now, for those who just joined here or skipped the video to here, let me show you what is inside this one. Open the compression part, open the main zipper, and what we're going to find in here. One vest, two vest, three vest. Four pair of socks, two pants, t-shirt, the trousers, one, and number two. If you want to know more about Nomatic, you will find the link to the Navigator 50 liter, which I try out right now, and to my Nomatic travel bag at the end of this video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye bye.